Hi there and welcome. We're on a Moodle site. This is Moodle 4.3.2 and uh, notice um, what happened here. The uh, HTML code was added to the uh, actual message area and not in the source code. So I'm going to show you how it's done. First thing you do is you go into advanced because otherwise you won't see the editor. So hit advance. I'm going to copy this so I can add it. So I'm going into advanced. Once in advanced, let's wait a few seconds. Um, I'm going to go into tools. I'm using Tiny MCE on Moodle. I suggest you use Tiny MCE. I think it's the best right now. Go into Tools. Once in Tools, notice what you get. You get Source Code. Hit the Source Code, and then you get this. Now, just add it at the end. It's okay. You can ignore everything else that's there. And there, we've added it. It's Google Drive. Let's hope it's the right link. I don't see any size listed there. Go into save, and that's really important to save, of course, because if you don't save, you're not going to see it. But you'll get a chance to see it before you post to form, so no worries. Click on save, and um, and that's what you see. You only see the link. In other words, the HTML was that of the link, not of the actual HTML. So let's go into the link and get the HTML. Now, this is the video added to Google Drive. Going to go into the three dots. Usually, three dots indicate. There we go. Settings. Go into that. Open it up. And then we get embed item. You're going to click on embed item over here. Embed item. So that you can get the code. Now this is the code. You're going to add this code. Now notice this code. You know it's correct because it has the width and the height, which means that it's okay. Next you're going to hit okay. All right, but uh, make sure that you copy it, unless it has copy with it. Now we're going to go back into the course. This saves a lot of time because if you noticed the link, or maybe you didn't notice because I didn't really point it out, the link is not set to open in a new window, which means that you'll be taken away from the site. Now, if you're going to add a link, please make sure that you set it to open in a new window. The best way, of course, is to embed when you can, but sometimes we can't embed link. Going to go back into the link, click anywhere on the link, and then go into the three dots over here. Let me show you how that's done. Because we don't want to be taken away from the page. We want to stay on the page. That's the idea. Click on it by going into the three dots, and then notice what happens here. The link is there, but it needs to open in a new window and that way we won't be lost when we close it. So make sure that you tick it off. Let me tick it off for you. There we go. And then you must update link or it's not going to show as being set to open a new window. So now it's set to open a new window. If I go back into it, notice it's set. And it'll say that way. All right, so we're going to get rid of this because it's no longer relevant. We have the new, let's go back into, remember, tools, source code, and now we're going to add it. There we go. I've added it. Notice the size is kind of wide. So I'm going to take 20 off. That'll make this 4, and this will be 2 to make it smaller. And then I'm going to hit save. You must hit save. Or it's not going to stay. I know that in some places you don't have to hit save, but in Moodle, in the message area, you do. And now notice what comes up here. There's the video. You might want to make it smaller since um, it's uh, 
small. It was taken with a mobile device. You can see that, which is perfectly fine. In fact, it's encouraged. And then we're going to save changes. Notice we're not done yet. We still need to save changes. So what I did was I edited the participants code. There we go. And now I can grade it because I can see it. And it's done perfectly. All right. So now I'm going to reply. Hit reply. And as I said before, if you're going to embed, you cannot embed unless you see the editor. Right now you need to go into advanced because this area right here has no editor. And I'll show you what I mean when I say editor. Let's click on advanced. And now the editor will come up. This is called the editor, which you see over here. Okay, uh, let me get that again. That's the editor. Now we're going to open it up by going into the three dots. Click on that. And notice now you have two more rows. And the editor is enlarged. And there are more features, which is what we need generally. More features. But for this activity to add an HTML code, an embed code, you don't need all of that. All you need is to go into the very top where it says tools, click on the tools once again, source code, and then notice there's nothing here right now. It's blank. I'm going to add that. I'm going to make this, this time I'll make it two, and this one I'll make 80. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, the width, actually the width I should make bigger. So let me make that 120, and the width I will make. 100. There we go. Just to experiment and see what it looks like. All right. Now it's really tiny. Oh, it's too tiny, right? All right. So if you find that it's too tiny, go back and make the changes. So we can make this 400 and the height will be 200 and then that should look more normal. All right. There it is in the middle and we can play it and then send it to the form post. Remember to post a form. And that's it. I hope this has been of help and you're able to embed in a Moodle course. Thank you for watching. Happy Moodling and have a wonderful week.